Continuous hills or canyon hills as we fondly know them can really really put some strength work and some strength endurance into your training. Think about how you feel in the final sort of 5k of a 10k, the final perhaps 5k of a half marathon or the last 10k of a marathon. Often you can still almost speak to the person next to you, you can hold yourself together but around you the legs the hips, everywhere is starting to really fatigue and feel tired. So the continuous heels will put strength into you and enable you to retain form in the second half and the final phase of your race. But here's the conundrum. Three times 10 minutes of continuous heels does not mean running uphill continuously for 10 minutes until you run out of time. Because I'm telling you now, we live in the UK and if we've given you a 90 second or 2 minute recovery, how are you going to get back down in 2 minutes? And also, if you keep going up for 3 by 10 minutes, you're going to soon find yourself running out of hill. You're going to have to move to the Alps, you're going to have to move to the Himalayas. I don't know, that's not what we're asking here. We're saying 3 by 10 minutes is actually 45 to perhaps 90 seconds of effort up the hill and then turning and running down. So you run up for 45 to 90 seconds at threshold intensity, not sprinting. Threshold intensity, three or four word answer pace, working hard, but in control, good form, good posture. When you turn, you run down the hill, and crucially, you don't dig your heels in, you lean forward, you're light on the feet, and you almost fall forwards coming down the hill, and you will descend quicker than you went up, and you keep the heart rate in that kind of threshold zone. You get back to your start point, you turn, and you go straight back up. You get back to your turn point, and you turn and head back down. And you keep repeating that, for the full 10 minutes. Then you might have a couple of minutes recovery and off you go. So a continuous hill session might start out as three by five minutes, four by six minutes, five by five. It becomes three by 10 minutes or more. And it really will, if you put it into the right place in your training, make you a stronger athlete.